Okay. Hello, hello. Is this online? I actually have no idea. Uh... Can anyone hear me? Is anyone out there actually? I'm trying to test some new, um, a new platform to stream. I'm not sure if this is actually working. Uh, and this is such a random live stream. I didn't prepare or announce it ahead of time. I kind of just came online. I'd be amazed if anyone comes up. But if anyone is out there, give me a shout. Tell me if the audio is working or not. Uh, yeah, give me a shout. I could just be talking to myself. Let me see. There's a way for me to check. Testing, testing. Anyone here? Okay, the audio is working. Okay, I think the audio is working. All right. Well, I'm just testing some new um, platform. These are some upcoming projects that I'm going to release slowly. So I'm taking those that mini series, that mini live stream series and uh, changing it up a bit as I'm experimenting the best structure for this. All these little projects were done with that matrix. All that rotational matrix, transformational matrix that I've been talking uh, two weeks ago, all the basics of that, where I'm going to build on top of that and actually put it into practical use. And that's where all these little projects came from. They're all based on rotational and translational matrix. Mostly rotational because as you can see, they're all turning and rotating and pivoting off stuff. Um, but I, it's going to be a little different. So it, it's not going to, it is going to be very heavy on VEX and math. Well, the math stuff we've already covered two weeks ago. So it's probably just going to cover how to apply it. So we, Two weeks ago, I went over the basics of how do you construct a, a rotational matrix, how do you construct translational matrix. The translational, the, it's not really called translational matrix because it's not really a translational matrix. Let me draw it out as I'm just yapping. So this little app, I also want to test out. Um, matrix you usually have like this and then you have your uh, I'll just draw an identity matrix and let's go T for translate and translating X T for translating Y 0, 0, 1 T for translating the Z and transform matrix the full transform matrix usually has um a last row as well, a four because it's usually a four by four matrix. So the translation usually happens on this last column. Now let me see if I can change the color. This is a new app that I'm working on that uh, I made in C Sharp to help me, hopefully, with explaining things. It could prove like worse because it is a little buggy. I'm still working on it. So this would be your translational vector inside the transform matrix. As you can see, this is not really this itself. The T, X, T, Y, T, Z is not really a matrix. So it's not really called a translational matrix. The whole thing, this whole four by four matrix is called a transform matrix, which includes rotation and translation. 
So in transform, it's not very exciting just because it only has three elements to it. It's more like a translational vector. But two weeks ago, we went over a few basic things about how you can take Euler angles, Euler angles and create a transform, rotational transform matrix. That was one of the main things I hope I nailed into your brain. What that is, is taking that transform, the transform node. Let me... Let's see if my computer can handle one more instance of Houdini. What I mean by that, hopefully I can jog your memory from two weeks ago, is how we took the transform node and we put in that sine and cosine values. And then I did that circular animation motion and we took that and created a matrix and did the same thing. So basically doing the same thing, but using matrix. Just to, just to jog your memory. Transform, let's see, rubber toy. Ooh, okay, let me pop this over here. Hopefully you'll remember this guy. The circular motion. So we took this, which is this transform node, and we made it into this, this four by four matrix using VEX and using the first time around when I did it. If you were following it in the series, the first time around I did it, I used the look at function, which failed terribly. And then I finally used the make transform function in VEX, which was way more successful. And I explained how rotate, this is not really a rotational matrix. And because of what this is, like there are nothing, there's nothing in, these are zero, zero, zero values in the rotate parameters of this transform node. And this rubber toy is facing, is always facing the front. He's not, his orientation is changing. So this isn't really a rotational matrix. So hopefully this jogs your memory. Hi, hi everyone, Oleg. And I don't know how to pronounce that name. And the other one would be interesting to see, yeah. Based on this, based on this concept. Ooh, I can't, start. oh, there it is. Okay, based on that concept, I created these guys based on the rotational matrix, uh, transform matrix. So these are some of the projects I'm going to be releasing slowly this week. Uh, some of it will be recorded. Some of it will be live. I'll s I haven't decided yet. I'm still like playing around with the video structure. So this live stream was mainly to test my equipment and the new platform I'm trying out. I think it should, it, it seems like it works better for me i don't know i'll have to go over it i'll have to go over and watch myself i could be like talking to thin air like the last time i was talking like a black screen and i didn't even know so these tests are quite useful for my for my uh, for 